Okay, we're going to look at number 21 in section 3.2. Um, we're going to find points. So here are points they want both the x and y coordinates on the graph of this function where the tangent line is horizontal. Okay, And parenthetically, they write here, use symbolic notation and fractions where needed. Give your answer as a comma separated list. They actually have or here. I don't know. It's a typo. It should be of. <laughs> List, give your answers a, as a comma separated list of ordered pairs in this form. So I'll explain what that is. We're just going to write ordered pairs separated by commas for each point. Okay, so where is the tangent line going to be horizontal? Well, that's going to happen when the derivative is zero. So our goal is to find the derivative of this function and set that equal to zero and find the values of x that, that satisfy that. So I'm going to use, uh, of course, shortcut formulas. We're not told to use the limit definition to find the derivative. What's the derivative of 36 times x? That's easy. It's just 36. What's the derivative of negative 3 times x cubed? Well, negative 3, that's a constant multiple. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared by the power rule. So just clean this up. 3 times 3, I get 36 minus 9x squared. And there's my derivative. Again, tangent lines are going to be horizontal when the derivative is zero. So I need to solve this equation. Add 9x squared to both sides. Divide both sides by 9. I get x squared is 4. 36 divided by 9 is 4. And then take the square root. Remember, I have to include both the positive and negative square roots. So plus or minus 2. So there's two locations where we have horizontal tangent lines. Okay, but they want the ordered pair. So in other words, we want to find the points on this function, right? So I'm going to take these values of x, plug it into this function to find the corresponding y coordinates. So when I do that, f of 2 comes out to be 48. f of negative 2 plugging in comes out to be negative 48. So here's the answer they want when we, you know, the point is 2, comma 48. That's one point where we have a horizontal tangent line. And then comma parentheses again, negative 2 comma negative 48. That's the second point. So we just have two. If you had three, you would just continue to list them is what they were indicating with that note in the parentheses. Okay, so not too bad. I uh, hope this helps.